here are the top five business concerns according to the Chamber of Commerce. Taxes are too high. Number two, government wastes money. Number three, capital costs too much. Four, expenses are too high. And five, employees are unproductive. Believe it or not, that was a survey that was done at the end of 2022. Believe it or not, I looked up the one from 1979 and it's the same five concerns in the same order. As Jim Rohn said, it's the same. And we need to be encouraged by that. We need to be encouraged. It's just, it's everything's gaslit and everything's 24 hour news cycles. And what happens is all that stuff just wears us down and wears us down. It takes us to an anxious place. It takes us to a fearful place. We just don't know what the future is gonna hold. Uh, the book of Ecclesiastes was written by the richest man who ever lived. His name was King Solomon. He said, what has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. Marie Antoinette said, there is nothing new except what has been forgotten. It's amazing to me what we always forget. We forget the fundamentals. We forget the blessings. We forget the things that we're grateful for. And we forget that these principles that have existed for thousands of years that have helped people become successful are still true and will be true for thousands of years from now. And we can lean into that. So it is all the same. Secondly, distribution is new, but the content's the same. So we used to uh, see people on a train. I, I used to show this image at our seminars of a train full of people. In those days, it was men going to work, a black and white photograph, and every single person sitting next to one another on the train, 100% of the people with their nose in a newspaper. And then I show a picture of today and, and a similar train with men and women and people of all kinds of colors and ethnicities, but everybody with their nose in a phone. It's the same. And so we have to understand, there is nothing new under the sun. Now, there are, obviously has been changes in the technology and changes in how we go about it. And there's a bombardment. You know, you had to go and buy a newspaper. You had to go and read the newspaper. Well, now your phone dings and messages come in and it, it seeks after you. It also, the newspaper didn't go, oh, you like this article, therefore you're gonna, all you're gonna see is articles related to that. And that's what we have to deal with today. So the, the format's the same, but the technologies are newer. And uh, a recent report that came out just talked about the increase in online and digital activities. Uh, watching more shows and films on streaming services, up 54%. Spending longer time using social media is up 43%. Spending longer on messenger service, 42%. Listening to more music and streaming services, up 37%. Spending more time on mobile apps, up 36%. Spending more time uh, playing a computer and video games, 35%. Uh, creating and uploading videos, 16%. And listening to more podcasts. Well, there's one I like, and that's up 15%. It's interesting. That is almost the lowest stat of what's up. And, you know, podcasts at least are a format for the most part. There's some that are entertaining, um, but you at least can find some education or some encouragement or some uh, uh, inspiration there. The fact of the matter is, all of those dynamics are up. I, I would say very few of those categories I listed off are helping you control your personal economy. Uh, Christian Louis Lang said, uh, he was a historian, he said, technology is a useful servant, but a dangerous master. Uh, Steve Jobs, technology by itself doesn't create leaders. Technology only amplifies true leadership. The start of the year, I deleted about a third of the apps I uh, go to. Um, I have radically reduced the amount of time I spend on uh, news. Um, and I've also made it a goal that every week this year, uh, when I look at my iPhone and it gives me my little Sunday report, that the number of hours or time I spend on the phone goes down every single week. So I'm making it a commitment that every week I'm gonna spend less time on my phone than I did the week before. Uh, the, the third part about how there's really nothing new is that negativity sells. Uh, a recent study by a, a organization called Quora showed that 90% of media coverage is negative. What is the media in the business of? Are they in the business of reporting news or what? No, they're in the, 
they're in the eyeballs business. They sell advertising. Media is I provide content and sell advertising. That's why we're very excited. There's very few ads on this program. And if you don't want to listen to the ads, you can spend five bucks for an entire month and get all the podcasts on Apple Plus with It's a Good Life. You can get our podcast and never have to, to listen to an ad once. Isn't that great? The, the bottom line is media uses its content to sell advertising. And what sells is the more negative, the more eyeballs, the more sensational, the more listeners, Therefore, you can sell more advertising. Bad stuff just happens to stick, that's all. Uh, they've developed a, a, a negativity, but people have developed a negativity bias. And when they sense a threat in their mind, their mind actually highlights it, okay? And so then this negativity is leveraged by the media to increase profits and through the clickbait headlines, the sensationalism and the spin. So we know this. We, we know this, if you're a parent, you know this. Uh, Google search results also react to the pattern by giving people what they seemingly want, which is more negative and more bad news. So it's important. Negativity sells, but negativity has an impact. You know, everything in life has a consequence. When you consume more negativity, you are by nature more negative. Like how can you consume a diet of negativity and be positive? How can you eat junk food all day long and be healthy? We know that. Garbage in, garbage out. We know that. So. We know there's nothing new under the sun. We know it is the same. Distribution is new, but the content's the same. Negativity sells. If you're gonna control your own economy, you need to control what's going into your mind, what's going into your heart. Thanks for watching. If you want more tips on how to think, feel, and do better, check out these videos too. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave us a like if you enjoy the content.